Go ahead. Yep. What happened? Um, I raced a, mar a half marathon and it was horrible. Horrible. Yeah. And I love, you know, I've only, you know, been back for about an hour. So I love doing this race report right now and I haven't had time to process. But you suggested that we do it. Fine. Because we don't have Stanley. Because we have the time. Yes. Um. Yeah, I raced a half marathon. Yep. Went in. You know, I, I knew going in, um, that I didn't want to go out with the leaders. Um, but I was hoping for a PR, uh, and I didn't come anywhere near that. Like I didn't even run what I want to run for a marathon pace wise. Yep. And no idea. I mean, obviously your training going into this has been, been going really good. I had one bad workout, but it still wasn't even bad. It just felt bad in it. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, nutrition wise, um, like we tracked that and I got a score of a hundred. Um, you know, I actually just got like my blood work done with inside tracker like a month ago now. Yep. And that was all great. Like, um, and then what else could it be? I mean, it's gotta be mental or it's gotta be mental, right? <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't know, sweetie. I, I love you, and um, obviously today was just, was just brutal because I, I really thought you were going to be uh, very competitive today, both on the field of play and against your your PRs. Um, I thought the energy coming into this was it's a great race. They was, did a great job yeah. hosting it. Yesterday I was in such a good mood. They were just like so welcoming. For week, I mean weeks you've been yeah. in a great mood. Yeah, you did have a tumble. You you crashed. You know, we, yeah, did. we about it's two healed, weeks though. ago, but yeah. I mean, you, you somebody crashed in our race too. Yeah, but you ate it running a couple weeks ago. But other than that, I mean, the last two or three months, it's been it's been the mood and the energy has been really good. And like you said, you've been getting those. I mean, Stanley's been sick, but that hasn't really affected me. Yeah, and, yeah. But you've been getting like the the biomarkers and all those things done. Yep. To understand like where you are at from just a general health level. So, you know, I don't know. I I I think about today and I observe and I and it's hard because if um if you what? weren't my wife I would say certain other things but it's like what it, would you say if I wasn't your wife I don't know come I'm, on I mean I might I'm, I'd probably tell you to just quit I mean well, I, would, I was trying to get you to tell me that right over there and you yeah. wouldn't well because I wasn't I wasn't working through it I mean it's just you know today today was bad and I'd say it's it's it the struggle emotionally is because we don't can't really pinpoint like what went wrong you know, like if we want to get like hyper, like flu in the day before, it's like, yeah, but you should be able to roll out of bed and do 72 minutes. Yeah, like no that's problem. Not, that's no problem. Yeah. And you, I you should were... be able to do it with poor nutrition, poor sleep, like everything. Right. And like we flew yesterday, but like everything was super easy. smooth, yeah. like super dialed. So it's just like, it's just no complaints. I think that's where I'm a little confused and it's hard to make those decision, decisions and those statements around um, quitting, you know? Yeah. And it is just right after the race. You can't make decisions can't make an decisions hour right. after the yeah, race. Yeah, that's right. That's right. But, um, you know, but, it's hard. Sometimes I, I feel like is this, uh, you know, retribution for all the races that you won in your previous career? Like, I just don't know. I'm like, is this just, is you know, did we, is this what we've earned from a previous career? Like, we've got to <laughs> just be on the other side, just getting just the, the gut punches. Um <laughs> So, you know, I would, it's tough because you're, I would say you, um, you had a great 5k in mm -hmm. New York. Surprisingly better than I thought. So that's why I think going into this race, we were both kind of wishful, hopeful. Um, not, not even wishful, hopeful. I mean, you, you've had training that's, yeah. that's dictated and, and, uh, you know, get given context around how fit you were. Yeah. So, you know, that we've documented, um. I mean, the, the reality is there was no way I was going to win this race. Kara no. went yeah. 67. Yeah. Um, and, like, I, I'm not in that shape. We know that. Um, we knew that going in. Um, and, you know, I, I was kind of in the race. I went out, and I was kind of in this no man's land where, I like, there was a pack of, like, eight, and they were running way too fast. And even I, I kind of wanted to stay, like, within contact of them. But even I went out too fast dropped from them dropped from that group but then like once you're not in the group i think mentally I, I struggled with that um and so that's just something i need to work on in training and mentally 
How did it look throughout the race? You were there. You saw me. Like, did yeah, Vaughn look I bad? saw you at, you know, um, you know, mile 1.5 when you were off the back of that front group of seven. But I, I knew that that was kind of the plan. So I wasn't really, like, panicked then. And I knew that they looked like they were, like, running hot. Yeah. And I was like, ah, that's, I think that's quite a bit above 520 pace, which is kind of where you were yeah. targeting. So I was like, ah, I'm not, that wasn't really concerning to me. And then... I saw you again and you'd taken like a pretty, you were down to like 12th then with some distance to 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th. So I was like, oh, this is going backwards. And then I got, <laughs> you know, more splits and you continue to go backwards. So I caught you again, I think it uh, would have been like 14K and you were with one other person and compared to everybody else up to that point, you were in 15th and I actually thought um, you looked quite good at that section. Um, and then you still you still retreated back from there. so that that you know it's it's tough to say and even you know it's funny because like you know Bobby messaged me and he's like is she is she hurt and so I was really looking at you like the last four hundred meters and I called Bobby and I said um, nope symmetry is like we're good here like that doesn't look like you're like doing anything wonky like yeah. you looked like honestly like if you would have just removed um, had I not looked at anybody in this front of the race and just seeing you I couldn't tell if you were finishing first or 25th <laughs> like that's how you look to me so that that was that was really hard for me to read today yeah. and I think the reality is um we all have races where you don't know what happens and you have a bad race it just seems like I have an awful lot of them which I, does I mean it, like I was very confronted with like do I just quit today um yeah, and like, how can you not think that? It's like, what am I doing? Um, but but like you said, like today is not reflective of what I've done. It's not reflective of what I want. I, it's just, yeah. Yeah, I wish that you know, in these cases, that you wish you could pluck something out and say, okay, this is the reason. Yep, bloods were terrible. Got to do like a full blown reset yeah. or something like that. But like like you said inside tracker like you got it that yeah, was I mean, all it great looked like, yeah like my iron was great my vitamin, vitamin d, d was great it, yeah. um you know like we had kind of because we've been worried about being at altitude before yeah. which is why uh, i wanted to get my bloods done a couple months after coming up to altitude because i wanted to know like is everything on track or like am i because in the past i've gone up and my bloods have gone really bad at altitude um, so yeah my bloods were great and inside tracker you know there's a few biomarkers that weren't in the green and inside tracker is great with you know focusing on you know telling you what to eat um, you've gotten to do some giving you some recipe ideas which you always love from the from the app so that's been a great thing to just make sure that I'm on track and healthy and uh, like I said like nutrition was great everything went well except for I mean me <laughs> I mean, no. This is I a mean, fun video. This to is do. a super fun video. No, I mean it. It, it, it's a bummer. I mean, it's yeah. just, it's just all you can say. It's just a bummer. I think um, the hardest thing for me is like oh, I left Stanley for. I mean, I guess I only left him for twenty four hours, but it's like, why? Why did I leave him for twenty four hours to do this? That's that's what I struggle with the most. Yeah. Um, but you, you haven't. You and Bobby. I don't I'm, because I, I'm a little bit, the word for me is perplexed. I, it doesn't, there's just something that's, you yep. know, and this has happened before. You did a 10K where you think you were, you know, you were, yep. you were bad. And so sometimes I feel like you got to have a bad race to get my motivation back I or something. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, it's like a little bit of a, to get your mind around the sharpness or something of it, it seems. I, I'm not, I'm not yeah. sure, but well, I love you. But I'm, I mean, I'm definitely doing at least another half. Yeah, in like a month. <laughs> um, yeah, so I mean, the, the no, you should. You've had some great workouts. Yeah. It, the like, reality you... is, like, you can't. I don't know. Even if I wanted to quit, you can't quit. I don't think mid-season because you're like, I feel fit. Like, and you guys, if you're watching, you're probably not thinking. You know, like how hard it is to get into shape and like. There was two brutal months of trying to get in shape, feeling awful, and now I've been feeling good. So um, I want to show that, and I want to prove that, and yeah. We're all quitters. At some point, I'm going to quit, but just not yet. 
Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love you. I love you. It, it was fun. It was fun to go to a race with you. Yeah. Did I do a good job? You did a great job. <laughs> Everyone did a great job except no, for me. The, the, no. the reality is sometimes you just have a race and you got to take the onus and that's on me. My bad. You and Bobby are each trying to grab the sword to fall on it, that's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> you guys are each like, this is my fault. No, it's my fault. No, it's my fault. No, it's my fault. It's just like, well, you know, look, I mean, it's just... Yeah. Anyway. Okay. The next one will be more fun. We're going to do a... We should do a cooking video. We need to do a cooking video because I got that cool apron that I want to yeah. use. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So you're doing the cooking. You're going to be doing the cooking. Oh. You're going to be sous chef yeah. wearing the apron. Yeah. All right, I'll just fine. wear the apron and. Yeah. yeah. All right. I love you. Yeah. You haven't chopped it yet. <laughs>